Hamilton and Mercedes have been locked in talks for months about extending his contract, which currently expires at the end of this season. And despite constant positivity, there is still no signed agreement. Team boss Toto Wolff said in June that a deal was just days away. But such an outcome failed to materialize and, almost two months on, there is still no sign that the Brit has put pen to paper. With both parties involved in this deal clearly more than keen to get this done, what's the hold up? With 12 races left in the season, and both team and driver truly focused on getting their car back to the front, it shouldn't be a surprise that no deal has been reached between the two parties yet. Both sides have indicated a willingness to continue working with each other, but the ongoing delay in announcing a new deal suggests a sticking point on negotiations, a recent rumor being that Hamilton is seeking an ambassadorial role with Mercedes as a brand after the end of his F1 career. Hamilton has worked with Wolf for over a decade and the pair have formed a strong bond, with the former winning six of his seven world championships under the Austrian. Hamilton last won a world title in 2020, with Max Verstappen winning the two completed years since. Red Bull have dominated since the start of the 2021 season. It has seen Sergio Perez and Verstappen lead the way at the top, with Hamilton dropping down the grid. Subsequently, there has been rumors surrounding Hamilton's future. Mercedes introduced their latest upgrade package for the W14 in Belgium, the final round before the summer break, with Hamilton scoring a P4 finish as he crossed the line behind the Red Bulls and Ferrari's Charles Leclerc. But, as the development war inevitably slows down into the second part of the season, Hamilton believes there is still scope for teams to make further alterations to their challenges and mix up that chasing pack once more. He expects McLaren and Ferrari to offer a stern fight, while also acknowledging Aston Martin's apparent loss of ground in recent rounds, the team admitting that their upgrades for Canada had muddied the waters for them a little, as they pick apart the confusion surrounding their AMR23. Saying McLaren started the 2023 season on the back foot would be an understatement. The Woking outfit was nowhere near where it wanted to be, fighting almost at the back of the field when F1 went racing this year. But since it introduced its upgrades in Austria, it's like McLaren has risen from the ashes and is back fighting almost at the front. While Mercedes wasn't fighting at the back at any point in the season, it was and is struggling to find pace. And that could be preventing Hamilton from extending his contract. Mercedes were caught out by the bouncing phenomenon known as porpoising during the opening stages of last season, when the ground effect regulations came into force, and it seems this is now becoming an issue for Mercedes once more. Mercedes' latest upgrade featured further modifications to their side part design and an updated floor to generate more downforce. And Wolf said the upgraded floor could have been a cause for the bouncing problems returning. Having reported bouncing issues in Austria, Hamilton complained of further porpoising troubles in Spa after a race where he said Ferrari had the upper hand this weekend, Wolf revealing that the W14 was bouncing literally on every straight. Before Mercedes then can truly turn their focus to the 2024 Challenger, this spectre of their past will be need to be banished during the second half of F1 2023. I think the floor could have been a reason why we've been bouncing. We're going to see it in the data and maybe there is something which we need to fine-tune because I still believe the direction we are going now is the right one. I've just seen the data and spoken to the drivers and the main limiting factor today and yesterday was the bouncing. The car was bouncing on literally every straight, even Blanchemont was a corner where Lewis had to lift and that is easy flat normally. You're bouncing on the straight, you overheat the tires and the braking so it's a vicious circle and was the main limiting factor this weekend. It's frustrating to check out on holidays like this. Tomorrow and after tomorrow we're going to understand more based on the data. Hamilton sensationally snatched a point away from Verstappen at the Belgian Grand Prix, but he expressed concern with the performance of his Mercedes. Hamilton earned the point for the fastest lap, a reward for his bravery at the end of the race. When it became clear the 38-year-old was going to miss out on the podium to Leclerc, Mercedes executed their plan. Mercedes brought the Brit into the pits for a fresh set of medium tires. He had created enough of a gap to hold on to fourth, as the seamless pit stop allowed Hamilton to return to the track and secure the extra point for the fastest lap from Verstappen's clutches. It was another reminder of what Hamilton remains capable of even at 38 years old. Despite that late plan working out, Hamilton admitted after the race he was worried about the performance of his Mercedes, suggesting the recurring problems surrounding the rear end of the car persisting. It was kind of a non-eventful race. There wasn't much going on and I wasn't able to keep up with the cars ahead of me. Struggled at the beginning, rear end is our biggest issue and we had big bouncing this weekend so we were back to the bouncing like we had last year.
At the end I was keeping the Ferrari within a few seconds but I couldn't get any closer to battle and to get the fastest lap at the end, it was nice to have the gap to the car behind. The last lap was decent. It was gusty today, it was difficult out there to keep it on track. The team don't know what's caused the bouncing. To me it is a concern, but we'll work through the data this week and try and figure out what we do for the next race. I know what I want, I'm praying for it and I'm just waiting for the day we get it. Hamilton may have accomplished everything, however, he is still tied with Michael Schumacher at seven championships. Obtaining an elusive eighth title is the only remaining aim from a statistical standpoint for the Mercedes ace. And while talking of the current predicament, he is yet to sign a contract extension, even when his current one expires at the conclusion of this season. And as time goes on, Hamilton fans' breath becomes increasingly labored given the time Hamilton is taking to sign the deal. When asked directly about an update on negotiations with Hamilton when addressing media on Sunday, Wolf was not keen to put a concrete time on when an announcement will come. No, I don't want to give you a date because it's lawyers speaking to lawyers. It's no material things anymore, but you've got to give it time and I don't want to commit to a date. Wolf has compared his relationship with Hamilton to his marriage to Susie Wolf as he said he doesn't want to divorce the seven-time world champion. He opened up about his close friendship with the driver, saying that despite difficult spells, there have been very good moments. Lewis has become a friend and over the years we've gone through difficult spells and very good moments. We celebrated many championships and we had discussions among ourselves which were not always easy. A key moment was at the end of 2016 where we didn't speak to each other for a while. So I invited him to come to my kitchen in Oxford and sit down and have a chat. The analogy I gave to him is that also I have arguments with Susie. Even if we shout at each other, even if we have this argument, there's never thought of divorcing, and that's why I said to him, I don't want to divorce you and neither do you. Because I want the best racing driver in our cars and you want to have the best cars. When Hamilton equaled Schumacher's record of seven Formula One World Championships, his fate as the leader in the sports statistical clubhouse appeared set. Mercedes, after all, had just dominated the 2020 season and are still on top of his game Hamilton had claimed six titles in seven years. One more crown would make him F1's most decorated driver of all time. But then came a much more competitive campaign than expected against Verstappen and Red Bull. Bouncing from one Grand Prix to another, the W13 would win just one race that went to George Russell with Hamilton recording his first ever winless season in Formula One. Despite Hamilton having worries about how things are going for the Silver Arrows, his fastest lap and pole position in Hungary the previous week show there are some signs of life. With talks ongoing, the team will hope that is enough to keep their main man around for a while longer.